You are here. I am here. Roll your shoulders back once. Roll your shoulders back a second time. I'm turning to the side because I want you to see. Forward lunge on the right. Reverse lunge on the right. I know I'm making you think right out of the gate. Forward lunge on the right. Reverse lunge on the right. There you go. Let's do two more on the right. Good morning. Last one on the right. And then we gotta do the left. Same thing on the left. So forward lunge on the left, reverse lunge on the left. This is our first move. So take your time. Nobody's in a hurry. I have a good strength workout for us today. Do three more. Yep. In two, you'll jog it out. Awesome, make this last one the best one. There are lunges today. And then stand up and just jog it out nice and light. Again, roll your shoulders back. Perfect. If you want a little bit more, start to bring your knees up. If you're not a jumper, march it. You're here for 15 seconds. On deck is a squat in 10. Being very purposeful with words this morning. Alternating sides in three, two, go. So right, center, left, center. So keep moving, keep squatting. Today's workout, each block has three exercises, mostly lower body, upper body, core, mostly. You know me, I add a little fun flavor. 10 seconds, keep squatting. Jacks are next in five. One more squat. There you go. Perfect. Jack it out. Jack it out. Everything is for time, so no counting needed today. If you're low impact, you're right here. I'll join you here for the next 15 seconds. On deck in 10 is a lateral lunge. Don't worry. I did not forget about the world's greatest stretch. We'll get there. You got it. Three, two, awesome. Stand up tall, lateral lunge only to the right. You got it, perfect. Stick your butt back, activate that glute. We got it. Two more to the right, last one. Switch sides, go. Switch sides, so you're on your left side. Three more, inch warm in two, last one, awesome. So back of your mat, front of your mat, whatever, walk it out, find a high plank. Now, right foot outside right hand, right arm up, right hand down, right foot back, walk it all the way in and stand up, do it again. Walk it out, left foot. Left hand. I'm giving you one full glorious minute here to really start to activate the muscles in your body. To let the coffee or the water seep into your veins. You got it. Awesome. Perfect. You have time to do one more on each side because it's a minute. Somebody sent me an Instagram this morning that was about how the greatest thing you can do for your body is build muscle. That's what we're going to do today. Team, the next time you finish up, come back to the plank. So come back to the plank. Meet me here if you're standing. Uh, shoulder taps. Go right to left, left to right. Keep your hips quiet. Ten seconds. On deck, we stand up. Three more, two more, last one. Walk your hands in, stand up, jog it out, jog it out, jog it out. That just gives me the opportunity to come back and face you. Seal jacks, arms out, legs out. Let's go, crisscross, crisscross. 15 seconds. There you go. Stay there. 10 seconds, we plant the feet. And hinge for a good morning in three, 
two, go. So plant your feet, ten toes forward, belly in. Someone imaginary pulls your hips back, press into the heels to stand up. This is movement prep for some things you're going to see today. Yep. Let's do one more. And finish with that football hustle. Go. Give me those quick feet, quick feet, quick feet. You know the deal. Swing the arms forward and backwards. Shake it out. Keep going. I'm going to add a couple of calls here. When I say touch, you touch. When I say up, you go up. Touch. Touch. Up. Up. Touch. Up. Touch. Break. Shake it out. I told you, short and sweet and to the point. Your first exercise team, pick up the heaviest weights that you can for this first exercise, which is the deadlift. You just practice one narrow row and then stand up. You will be there for 45 seconds, so choose your weights accordingly. The second exercise is a lateral lunge with one weight. So plant your feet, shoulders are back. Ready, go. Hinge, pinky to the pocket, stand back up. Do it again. Hinge, eyes down on the floor, pinky to the pocket, stand back up. Now full transparency, I did this workout in the park this morning and we were able to utilize the TRXs. But everybody here doesn't have a TRX and that's okay. So listen, you have 20 seconds left and the next exercise is a lateral lunge. I only need, you only need one weight in 10 seconds. When we lateral lunge, my favorite is threading the weight in three, two. So unload weight in your left hand, keep the one in your right. Lateral lunge to the left. Lateral lunge to the left, stay on the left. This is one of my favorites, and I tell you every time, because you get that bonus isometric hold and a little bit of power. Two more to the left. You got it, yep, last one. Switch sides, in to out. Keep going. Your third exercise is push-ups. Now for today, if push-ups aren't your jam, I want you to find a plank, because we'll get a chest press in our second block. You have two more, you got it, Paula. Do one more. Unload the weights, come down for push-ups. It's only 30 seconds. Go. Now, these push-ups are just classic, straight, awesome, badass push-ups. But if your body is like, yo, I need a down dog, I'm still warming up, please throw in that down dog. Now, this was round number one. You have 10 seconds left. Immediately when you stand up in five, we go back to the top. Do one more push-up. Awesome. Shake it out a little bit. Stand up. You got about eight seconds to grab your weights. We're back at the deadlift. In three. In two. Go. Hinge. Double arm row. Stand up. Yep. Now what I kind of love here because you're in your own space, is you have nowhere to look in front of you. Like if there's a mirror in front of you, you don't need to look. Look down at the floor to protect your neck. And every time you stand up, shoulders back. 15 seconds, hamstrings should feel this, lats, tiny bit of triceps. Let's do one more. Okay, weight in your right hand down, lateral lunge to the right. Gotta think about that. Yep. So in to out. And just like in the deadlift, where I want you to keep your back flat on your lateral lunge, keep your back flat. Yep, one more to that side. And then switch sides. Yep. You got it. So the three exercises will stay exactly the same. We will flow through them as quickly and purposefully as you can to work on endurance. Do one more lateral lunge. 
Nailed it. Unload the weight. Push-ups. Second set. Go. Now, if your knees are down, totally okay. What I want you to focus on is how you can activate your core. So keeping the hips forward, squeezing the glutes, thumbs, midline of the chest. Your breath is very powerful in a push-up. Do one more. Perfect. Stand up. We have one more set of these same three exercises. So grab your weights. Deadlift to row. Feet are planted. Go. Hinge. Row. Up. Now if you want to think about this like functional fitness, you know, how is this preparing you for life? You can think about how your glutes support you as you pick up suitcases. I always try to think something heavy, right? Staying in your legs where you've got the power and out of the back. That's why we build strong glutes. Now the last set of lateral lunges. I know you want to alternate sides, so do one more hinge. Unload one weight, alternate sides. Go, 45 seconds. There you go, keep it up. The weight absolutely can go down. The focus here shifts from hamstrings, back of the legs, and the primary glute max into the sides to the outer sides of your thighs and your outer glutes. You got it. You have 15 seconds and your last set of push-ups. You all know me, I love birthday groupies. I had someone work out with me on Tuesday and I only found out after class that it was a birthday. So we did them today. Break, put the weight down, hit the deck, push-ups. I know, everybody doesn't love them as much as me. Go, last set. Last set. Last set of push-ups, see. On the other side of this, you got 30 seconds here, that's it. And on the other side, you get a full one minute break, and then we shake it out and we move on to different exercises. I will give you, because you're in your own space, a one minute break so that you can have all of the equipment you need for the exercises. Team, do three more push-ups. I know I'm giving you five bonus seconds, you're welcome. Two more. <clears throat> Last one, break, shake it out. Okay, I promised you, I told you, that we would get to a chest press and that's already in our second block. Now your challenge in your space is to pick up the weights that are so heavy that a bridge with your hips is not an option. We'll get to a bridge later. Okay, for our chest press today, we'll add a little bit of variety. So one weight in each hand, elbows out about 45 degrees. Uh, I guess I should start up. One wide, one narrow. One wide, one narrow. Now listen to me. The second exercise is standing. I know that's a big ask. It's a snatch, so alternating pull, but I believe in you. You have 10 seconds laid down on your back. I will give you transition time. So you get the full 45 seconds on that snatch. Arms up, hips down, go. One wide, palms face each other, one narrow. One wide, one narrow. Now, keep moving. What a chest press does is enables you to activate the muscles in your chest by fighting gravity a little bit different than the gravitational pull of your push-ups, where you're pushing against it. You have 15 seconds. I will come here with you so I know how long it will take to stand up in 10. Your challenge, I think I've talked to you about this, do one more. Unload the weights, stand up without touching the floor. Boom, can't do it, hashtag goals. Feet out wide, weight between your legs, alternating snatches. Go, you know the deal. 
Not a snatcher. Give me a boom high pull. Paula on Thursdays, we were pink. Keep going. I've like gone through all of my drawers and this week was all about colors. Next week I'm gonna be a ninja, all black. 45 seconds here, team. I put way too much thought into my workout clothes. It's like going to work, I would think. <laughs> Keep going, you have 15 seconds. The third exercise, we come down to an elbow plank. There you go, awesome. Do two more. You got it, Allison. Yep, last one. Now leave the weight behind, come down to an elbow plank. Elbow plank. Palms are down, neck is long. It's only 30 seconds. Shift your shoulders forward one inch and back one inch. Now where should you feel this? Right above your belly button primarily, but every time you shift the shoulders over the elbows, tighten the belt around your middle. Palms are down, legs are long and active. Two more team. Easy transition, last one. Okay, break on your back. Chest press, second set. On your back, arms are up, hips are down. Go, one wide, one narrow. One wide, press the midline of your back into the ground as you press the weights up. Full wide. Your weights can touch each other, or little bonus challenge, keep them four inches apart. I know that's very specific. Okay, we have three more. Oh, last one. Okay, slide the weights down. You ready for that challenge? Go, rock and roll up. Yep, alternating snatches. Bend your knees, hand on the weight. Ready, go. Alternating snatches. Yup. Now I remind you lovingly that this is about your legs. Inner thighs fire up. We got inner thighs with the lateral lunges. Glutes, make the decision at the top. Squeeze. I'm aging myself a little bit when I reference Shira, Princess of Power. Grew up in the 80s watching her and He-Man. So, She-Ra, Prince of the Power. That's all I can tell you. Keep going, team. You have 15 seconds. Now, the third exercise is still an elbow plank. It's 10 seconds away. You got it. Heart rate's going to come up just a little bit here. Boom. Love that power. One more, Lisa. And break. Unload the weight. Come down to the plank. Shoulders over elbows, palms down. Tap both knees down. You know I love this variation, lift both knees up. So the reason is because I want you to target different parts of your abdominal region. There you go. So tap, lift, right below the belly button. Every time you lift, squeeze the glutes. Eight seconds. This is set two of three. Do one more. And break, lay down on your back. Rack up those badass weights. We got three, two, go. One wide. I hope that as we flow into this third set, those same weights feel a little bit heavier or the muscles feel a little more fatigued in the best possible way. You got it, keep moving. There you go. Team, you're over halfway there. Your only option here is to go a little bit slower. Why? Just a little bit more tension in the muscles and a little bit more activation, but it is entirely up to you. You have exactly one more, and then unload the weights. You know the deal. Maybe you come to see them and you crisscross your legs and stand up. Love it. You ready? Last set of snatch. Three, two. Let's go. Alternating. 
Boom. Putting that down, my eyes are up. Every single rep, you are building strength. I would probably repost this thing my client sent to me about muscle fibers. Yup, awesome. The literal only way to build strength is to do resistance training. That's it. There's no other choice. Walking is excellent, but to build the muscles, strength, resistance, do two more, and protein, but you know that. And break, unload the weight, elbow plank. You know we're putting it together. Getting in position, you got a full 30 seconds, go. Forward, backwards, knees, lift. And I think one of the advantages, I hope, of doing this at home is you have a variety of weights. So like a nice big selection. And you choose weights that actually challenge you. You have 15 seconds. Yep, on deck. Again, I'm going to give you a full one minute break so I can talk you through it. Do one more. Yep, that last one's the best one. And break. Shake it out. Okay. So, I'm giving you a one minute break. You might need two sets of weights. One set is for an offset curtsy. You know I love this where I put one weight on my right shoulder, the other weight at the left, and then alternate the curtsy. So, that's the first exercise. Where you might want different weights, the second exercise is balancing bicep crawl. And you will stay balanced the entire time. So I can probably go a little bit heavier for offset and a little bit lighter for um, the bicep crawls. So I'm gonna grab these weights. We have plenty of time. Third exercise is side plank. Okay, so everybody take one weight. Put it on your right shoulder. The other way hangs long, and you alternate the curtsy in three, two, go. Alternate the curtsy. Yep. You have 22 seconds. You're moving at a nice pace, Paula. Uh, right here, 22 seconds. Two more. One more. Switch the weights. That's it. Go. Yep. Now stay there. You have 15 seconds left. The second exercise, if these are heavy, you might need to go a little bit lighter. Two more. Yep, last one. Okay. Trade out your weights if you need to. Body weight in your left leg. Lift your right leg up. Bicep curl. Bring it down. Bicep curl. Now, if this is too much or you're just not here yet, it's cool. Tap down, lift up every time the weights come up. It gives you a little bit of extra stability. One more. Switch sides. You got it. Now the third exercise, stay there, is going to be a left side plank. Yep, do two more. I love it, I see everything. Last one, break. Unload the weights, come into a left side plank. We will be on the left side the entire 30 seconds. So step one, hold it, find the foundation. If you need more support, right foot can be forward. Now, lower and lift the left hip. Lower and lift. Yep, perfect. Two more, and then hold it. Press your shoulder away from your ear. Lengthen your neck. Reach your top arm up. You have five seconds. We come back to the top. Three, two, and break. So everybody stand up, left side feels good, pick up the heavy weights, heavy weight on your left shoulder, right weight hangs long.
Go. Alternate your curtsy. Now I hope you feel confident to pick the version that feels best for you. So if you need your weights to come down, that's fine. As long as you keep moving, that's the goal. Yep. Do one more. Switch the weights. Yes. Exactly like that. Awesome. 10 seconds. Balancing bicep curls are next. Keep going. You got it. Do one more. Okay, trade out your heavy weights for something a little bit lighter. We'll start on our right leg. Left leg up. Go. Now, the balance takes out any opportunity to swing the bicep curl weights. Spread out all five toes in that standing foot. I know, I'm focused. Last one. Yes, switch. Boom, go. Okay. Control it. Fingertips face your hips. Fingertips face your shoulders. Do one more. Yes, last one. Awesome. Unload the weights. Come down. Right side plank. Three, two, go. Right side plank. I saw a video the other day of a woman. I know her mom was outside kind of lovingly schooling her own granddaughter, if that makes sense, in how to jump rope. And I said to both the woman and the mom, like, hashtag goals. That's amazing. Lower and lift your bottom hip. Lower and lift. You've got to set the foundation. I say this every week. I'm going to keep repeating it. I'm a broken record and I don't care. Set the foundation now for what you want to do in 30 years. Hold your side plank. Hold it. Lift it up. Hold it. Like Adam's grandmother, 95 years old, does sit to be fit. You got three, two, and break team. Let's stand up. Let's do our last set of those curtsies. Weight on your right shoulder. Left weight hangs long. Alternating curtsies, go. Isn't that adorable? Sit to be fit. I love it. There you go. Awesome. For me, I think external, like, or in addition to being able to play with my grandkids someday in my current life, one of my goals, switch the arms, is to be able to continue to work out with my own kids. Ryan joined me for a run on Sunday, and it just overflowed my bucket of happiness. 15 seconds. We are at the phase, Adam and I, where we can't actually run as fast as our kids anymore. Do one more. Okay, trade out those weights. Last set, balancing bicep curl. Left foot down, right knee up. Go. Adam, uh, we're all fairly, three out of four of us are fairly competitive. Ryan is not. And Adam comes up with all these fun, like little family physical challenges, switch sides. And his goal, keep going, is for us to do a family 400 at a track and get under a minute. Ryan and Zoe are pretty close to holding their own. Adam and I are. <laughs> Me, I'm slowing the team down. Do one more and break. Come down, elbow plank. We're only on the elbows for about five seconds, not even. Four, meet me here. Three, two, rotate side plank. Other side. You got 30 seconds here. Alternating sides. You'll see at some point this summer we'll do a swimming race. I think this year I'm not going to let them dive because I think the dive gave Adam a little leg up because that is the one thing he cannot do well. Come on, you got 12 seconds. He is going to love that I'm talking about this. You got nine seconds. 
You know you get one minute in four. I gave you bonus time. Three, two, break. Shake it out. Shake it out. Now, again, you got one minute. I am telling you right now that you, if you like the mini band for triceps, you might want to grab your mini band. We're on our back for a bridge to start, then moving into a bicycle, and then triceps. So you can have your mini band nearby, hand to heart, hand presses down. For me, the tricep, I know it's the third exercise, I'm gonna be high kneeling, but if that's not for you, you don't have a mini band, no worries, you'll be here. First exercise though, so we're doing them a little out of order, but that's okay. You are on your back for a bridge. I will actually have you add a load to your hips. So take that weight, put it on top of your hips. I told you we get to a bridge. Your feet are flat and you should be able to touch your heels. And you'll lift your hips, load on the hips. You'll lift your hips and hold in three, two. So lift your hips, hold and squeeze and lower down. Lift your hips, hold and squeeze and lower down. That was a fast minute. I said in my circuit class yesterday, it's amazing how a minute can feel like 30 seconds and 30 seconds can feel like a minute. So this is an exercise where the slower you go, the more muscles you'll recruit in your body. You have 10 seconds. In round two, there will be holds. There will be pulses, so just anticipate that goodness. Do one more really slowly. I love it. Hips down, unload the weight. Hands behind your head, legs in tabletop position. Left elbow to right. Right elbow to left. Yep, take your time. I got a slow beat on the music. Elbows stay wide. Rotate from the ribs. Now the biggest transition in this block is to triceps. So in 10 seconds, will you grab one weight? Will you grab your mini band? Are you high kneeling? Do one more. Awesome. So I'm coming to a high kneeling position, grabbing that single weight. We're going to hold the head of the weight in both hands, right hand on top. Ready? You got it? Go. Perfect. Now for my mini band friends, I will tell you when we're halfway through so you can switch arms. So my high kneeling friends, shoulders are over hips, belly pulled into spine, arms are bending and locking it out at the top. Mini band, switch arms. Yep, perfect. There we go. Neck is long and loose. Oh, this feels so good. Do three more overhead. Two more. Last one. Strong triceps. Break. Lay down on your back. Grab your weight. Put it on top of your hips. I'm giving you plenty of time so you get the full 45 seconds. Now, two counts up, go. One, two, two count hold, and then two counts down. Do it again. Yep, this is an exercise where it's uh, helpful to be mindfully connected to actually squeezing the glutes at the top. So you get that little break in between, and then on your next one, hold it up. Press into your heels, lift your toes up, really feel the backs of your legs activate, and now pulse it. Pulse it, it is the teeniest, tiny little, it's just a squeeze your glutes, you got three, two, hips down, weight off, uh, right leg extended long, left leg towards the ceiling, head, neck, and shoulders up, grab at the back of your ankle, pulse one, two, switch, one, two, switch, one, two. That's what I want you to do. Stay there. Yes. The higher on your ankle that you reach, 
the greater stretch you get in your hamstring. I am refocused on trying to incorporate mobility in my day-to-day -day life. I read this amazing little article yesterday. I'm going to share it this week in my newsletter. Keep going, team. You have two more. I'll tell you about it once we get your triceps. Last one. Okay. High kneeling or grab your mini band. I'm putting my left hand on top. It just changes a little bit the dominant hand. Three, two, go. So the article, keep going. I get to tell you about the article. Um, was like, you know you have to brush your teeth 14 times a week. Like, you know you have to do that twice a day. But you don't wait until Saturday and Sunday to do 14, 7 on Saturday, 7 on Sunday. You do a little bit every single day. And that should be kind of similar to mobility or working out. Switch sides. So single arm, soft friend, switch sides. So if you want to do strength, you can't just do strength one day a week and like an hour and a half of it. You know, of some today, awesome. I would say two more days would be amazing. You got it, you have 10 seconds. Exercise, we'll use that conceptually. You don't just do it on the weekends, a little bit every day, it adds up. Three, two, break, lay down your back. Last set. I thought that was just so great. I don't only brush my teeth on Saturday and Sunday. Weight on my hips, uh, belly in. Let's lift your hips up and hold it. So lift your hips up and hold it. Now pulse it up for 10. Little squeezes. It's like the tiniest little squeeze, squeeze. And now keep your hips up. You might have to walk your feet a little bit closer together because I want you to extend your right leg out and then put it in and then extend your left leg out and then put it in. So it's kind of like a march, but because the weight's on the hips, your hips stay even. You got it. Let's do four more. Shifting that weight, working the core, last three. Thighs are parallel on extension. You have one more. Okay, butt down, unload the weight. Bicycle, you know the deal. Hands behind the head. Three bicycle. One, two, three. Three leg pull. One, two, three. Do it again. One, two, three. One, two, three. You have 30 seconds, and I'm going to give you a little VIP bonus. If you would like to incorporate five minutes of mobility a day, and you have no idea what to do, reach out to me. I will create a five minute mobility workout just for you. You have 10 seconds. That last set of triceps, I'm reminding myself it's only 30 seconds. Three, two, break. Set up, last set of triceps. Oh my God, we went, oh my God, I went so fast. Okay, arms up, <laughs> ready, go. It's only 30 seconds. So I will remind you at the halfway mark. Um, if your weight is upright and you want to hold it, hold it. If you're a single arm friend, switch arms. Holding the weight, let's pulse it. Pulse it. Our last block, it's going to be short and sweet. You got it. You got four, three, two, break. Shake it out. Okay. I'm not giving you a full minute because I want to get into this last uh, block of work. The first exercise, you need the heaviest weight you can for a hip dip. So the weight is in your right hand. Feet are parallel. I'll show you from two different angles. The weight slides down. So I'm showing you a slide. And then lift through the oblique. So we'll do half on one side, half on the other. The second exercise, two exercises, is a little bit of power, lighter weight, forward lunge chop forward lunge chop. And it's not a full lunge, it's just like a little step and chop. Okay, pick up your heavy weight, put it in your right hand, plant your feet, shoulders back, three, two, go. Slide it down, lift it up. Keep going. I love 
literally putting my hand between my hip and my rib and feeling the muscles working right there, exactly like that, Paula. Allow the weight to slide down your leg like you're shaving it down, even though we know we wouldn't do that. Two more. Last one. And then switch sides. Yep. Slide and lift. Slide, lift. The class went so fast today, but that's me. I guess because I gave you those one minute recoveries. You're welcome. Okay. So in 10 seconds, you might keep this weight awesome. It's that forward lunge chop. Two more. Last one, back to neutral. And break, reset, head of the weight, knee chant. Forward lunge, chop. Forward lunge, chop, go. Chop. Chop. Yes, exactly, I love that chop. Amazing, don't change a thing, you look so good. What I realized for myself this past week is that I need to work on exactly what you're doing right now, so I'm sharing that with you. You have four more. Yep, you have three more. Awesome, give me two more. I'm watching, I got two. Yep, last one. Okay, team, pick up that weight. Left hand, plant your feet under your hips. Little hip dip. Little hip dip. So this is strengthening your obliques. You got it. Shoulders stay back. The weight literally slides down your leg. Two more. Last one. Switch sides. Go. And our last exercise today, for better or worse, is going to be that forward lunge shot. Yep, side body. Inhale down, exhale up. Two more. Last one. And break, reset, last 30 seconds here. Ready, go, chop, and chop. I'm taking you all the way, keep going. Yep, perfect. So inhale when you come back to the center, exhale on the chop, making room for that rotation. You have 15 seconds. Ooh, I'll try that song. Yep, 10 to go. We'll stay standing for a stretch today. Two more. Last one. And break, done. Unload the weight. Unload the weight. Shake out your arms, shake out your legs. We're gonna do a quick shoulder stretch front and back. So stand up tall, um, take your arms out, take one arm across the body, use the other arm to pull it in. You should feel the stretch in the top of your shoulder. I always tell you that because there are so many years where I did exercises and I'm like, where should we feel this? So I'm very big on that. Okay, so now take the same arm behind you Use the opposite hand to gently pull the wrist, and this should be a little bit more in the front of the shoulder. And then switch. So same thing, opposite arm across from you. You got it. As always, I'm gonna to continue to say this at the end of our journey together. Take that same arm behind you. Prioritize protein at every meal. If you need ideas for protein, I have a lot and I keep collecting for. Um, there are like tons of ways to make protein even more delicious. Release, uh, cross the right ankle over the left knee, sit down and back. I can send the one that I take that, um, you know, I like the one that I use for protein smoothies. Stand up, switch, ankle, opposite knee, sit down and back. This morning for breakfast, I will saute up some eggs, throw it on some spinach. Protein is power. 
especially as we continue to get older, which is better than the option of not getting older. Okay, team, I know I kept it short, sweet, and to the point, but that's 45 minutes on the dot. Take a big deep breath in through your nose. Inhale the fact that you are amazing, and exhale. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I appreciate